Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tavian and today I'm going to show you how to make plots, um, or one way you can make plots anyway with Android. So we're going to use the graph view library and you're going to be able to make plots like this or any function really, this is just a sign plot. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is create a new project, call it um, graph tutorial and that and that should be fine. Empty activity. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is download the library. So open up your browser, type in graph view into Google and click on the first link, or it's the first link for me anyway. So it's www.android uh, graphview.org. Oh, computer's exploding. Okay, let's click on that. Um, go to download and getting started here. And scroll down. There's a couple ways you can get the library, but I think the easiest way is just to download this jar file. So just click, click right here. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Click that right there and put it somewhere um, where it's easy to get. So I put mine on my desktop. Um, so just copy it Oops. and open up your project and go up to this tab up here uh, go to project open that open app and paste it into the libs folder okay and then right click it's so now it's in the libs folder right click on it go down to add as library and okay so now Gradle will sync and that library will get added so then you should have, you should be able to click on this and see those. And that's it. So now the, now the library is ready to go. So the first thing we'll do is go into Activity Main. We're going to create a graph here. So you just select this one, com, jojo, graph view, to match parent and match parent. So it consumes the whole layout. And then just give it an ID, call it graph. Sure. So then if we go into the design tab, we can see that the graph view takes up the whole whole um, layout. So the next thing we'll do is go into main activity and start start actually writing code. So you have to declare a line graph series of type uh, data point, and we're going to call it series. And we're going to declare some variables. So I want my graph to start at negative 5, um, so I'm going to put x equals negative 5 for my first value. There's a lot of like customizability, I'm just going to show you, um, I'm just going to do like an, an easy sign plot. But you, can, you can create any function you want. Like I just, uh, I'm actually making this tutorial because I just finished making my first app, a uh, quadratic equation solver, and it makes a, makes a plot. So while this stuff's all fresh in my head, I thought I'd do, do a tutorial. Do a couple tutorials anyway. So then we need to make a loop to loop through all the data points and store them. So we'll do, I don't know, I think this has a hundred, this is a hundred data points. So we'll do like 500 and oops, I plus plus. So x equals x plus 0.1. I think if if you go any higher than 0.1, then the the graph won't won't look like it's continuous. So and that's in my experience anyway. Like if I made this 0.5, there'd be sharp sharp edges. So play play around with it and whatever works works. I just found that 0.1 works pretty good. So we'll do a sine plot. So here's where you could put pretty much any function. Like I could call this 5 times x or 5 times x plus 1 or whatever. But we'll do a side plot. So then you just append the data, your data point, you put your x and your y. And 
this number right here is the amount of data points in the series. So we have to we have to match this number with this number so that um, you get the right amount of data points. And then outside of the loop, you just do graph dot add series um, series, and that should be pretty much it. Let's run this. <coughs> So in the following tutorials, I'll probably do uh, some customizability stuff. So like how to make make points on the plot that will like stand out like a red dot at a certain point, or how to make multiple series plot on the same graph, stuff like that. Okay, so there you go. So you can see that it had it has a lot more. It starts at negative five because that was the initial x-coordinate and we plot 500 points. So there, there's a quick little tutorial on how to use graphs with Android. So if you want to learn more about this, um, keep watching the next videos. Thanks for watching.